What's going on in Lee Sports back with another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about the newest hire for the New York Giants as they have finally found a defensive coordinator that is Shane Bowen from the Tennessee Titans. He was most recently the defensive coordinator there, the 37 year old. Um, you know, he's been around the league for a while. He served in as, as an assistant coach for the Texans as well as most recently a defensive coordinator for the Tennessee Titans and it's an exciting hiring for the New York Giants. Um, you know, in particular, Shane Bowen, who's just, like I said, 37 years of age, so he's still a pretty young coach in the NFL, and um, after hearing a lot of what, you know, some Titans fans and beat reporters have had to say about Shane Bowen, he's a very good, um, he, he's, a, he's a great candidate and a good uh, man here for this job, and a guy who many to believe, almost all believe that he should be a defensive coordinator in this league, so from what I'm hearing, Good news um, for the New York Giants on this hiring. Um, let's take a look at his coaching tenure um, throughout his career. His, his history as a coach started back in 2009, so 15 years, at Georgia Tech. Um, he started off there as a student assistant before moving to Georgia, Georgia Tech. Um, you know, same school, but moving to graduate assistant. And then uh, the same position at Ohio State in 2012. He was a linebacker's coach linebackers coach at Kennesaw State from 2013 to 2015 before moving to the NFL in 2016 and 2017 as the Houston Texans defensive assistant. Um, he moved to the Titans and he's been there um, since 2018 to you know this past year. Um, he started there in 2018 as he was their outside linebackers coach for three years and then he was promoted to the defense coordinator in 2021 until this past year when, of course, they cleaned house. When they got out Mike Vrabel, they also let go of Shane Bowen. But, um, you know, he, he specializes, it seems like, in, in positional, like where he spec um, specializes in terms of position. It's the outside linebacker spot where he coached um, in that area for the Tennessee Titans for three seasons, and that's very good to hear. So when, you know, you're really trying to develop Kayvon Thibodeau and a guy like Aziz Ojolari, um, so you know, to have a guy that, you know, really does well with outside linebackers like he did in Tennessee with Harold Landry, he really brought the best out of him, um, you know, but, um, you know, I think, I think this is a good hiring. I like this hiring for the Giants. They did their due diligence. They were out there for a long time interviewing guys. They didn't get their first option. They didn't get their second option, but they didn't, they didn't panic. They didn't just hire a guy just to hire a guy because the, the guys they wanted were going off the board. They stuck to the process. They were patient. They did their due diligence with everyone, and I'm very, very happy about that, and I'm confident that Shane Bowen's going to be the right guy just given the fact that they did all their due diligence and hired the guy that they feel is the right guy for the job. Taking a look at where his defenses, the, the Titans' defenses in those three years uh, ranked under Shane Bowen, it all looks to be very good considering, you know, the roster and the personnel that they had. Um, you know, and a lot, of, a lot of people say that, you know, they, they really dealt with a lot of injuries. Um, they, went, they had the most players on the roster at one point in NFL history in a season that he was a defensive coordinator and he got very good results out of them. They had the most guys placed on injury reserve in the NFL, and he still got good results out of them. He last season, um, you know, last year he was, he, he led the Titans to the number one red zone defense in the entire NFL. That is obviously a very, very good, um, you know, that's a very good thing to see. Um, and, you know, I, I think I think that's something he's going to hope, hopefully bring to the Giants. Um, and, you know, I, I think if, if he can do what he did in Tennessee, it's going to be a very successful defense, um, you know, here in New York. I think it's a better, um, it's a more talented defense, of course, and, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll ultimately see. He's not going to be as aggressive as a guy like Wing Martindale, of course. We know that Wing Martindale is as aggressive as they come, you know, but he is going to have a lot of different looks, a lot of different packages, you know, um, I've heard that he, he does a lot of different things. He'll blitz a lot sometimes. He'll, um, you know, play zone. He'll play man. He'll do everything. And he's kind of a down to down play caller as, uh, you know, as a defensive play caller, which is, you know, obviously it's a, it's a good thing. It's a, it's something that, uh, you know, you want to hear, um, you know, a down to down guy. He really, really, really values safeties and, and DBs, which is, you know, obviously very interesting. Maybe does that mean that there's a better shot now that we bring back Xavier McKinney? 
Probably, you know, but we'll ultimately see. Same goes for Isaiah Simmons, who could play safety. He could also play linebacker. He does a lot of different things with a lot of different packages and looks. That is Shane Bowen. So we'll ultimately see how the rest of the offseason plays out and free agency plays out and then the draft, of course. But once free agency kind of goes on, we'll have a better idea of where they're headed in the draft. Um, but, um, you know, I really do like this hiring of Shane Bowen. I think it's going to make a lot of sense here for the New York Football Giants. I think that uh, Joe Shane and Brian Dayball feel like he's the right guy. And if they feel he's the right guy, um, I think they're the right head coach and GM. So I think that, you know, whatever they decide is going to be the best decision and the right decision here for this football team. And um, so we'll obviously see how everything plays out this offseason and all that goes down. But I'm really happy and uh, excited to see what Shane Bowen brings to this Giants defense and this Giants football team, of course, obviously. Um, so he's going to bring a lot of different packages, a lot of different looks. And um, you know, as a down-to-down -down play caller, we're going to see a lot of different uh, things from him as a play caller from Shane Bowen. And um, he's, he's known to be a really good teacher and great at developing players. So hopefully he brings all his traits uh, to the Giants. From Wink running, you know, the, all those exotic plays, um, you know, of course, we're going to see, you know, a different type of defense. We're going to see a guy who will play you kind of everywhere. He likes versatility. He likes physical play. And, um, you know, obviously, like I said, he really values his safeties and DB. So we'll ultimately see how the Giants build this defensive roster. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll break that down, talk about that. But um, that's really all I got in this video, guys. You guys let me know down in the comment section your thoughts on the Giants bringing in Shane Bowen to be the defensive coordinator. Like I said, you know, I think Joe Shane and Brian Dable are the right GM and head coach duo, and, I, and that means you know, I think that every decision they make is the right one for this team, and this is the right decision for this team based off of all the research they've done and all the interviews they've gone through. So I'm excited to see what Shane Bowen brings to this New York football Giants team. That's all I got in this video. You guys let me know all that good stuff down in the comment section. As always, please leave a like and let me subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. See you guys all in the next video. And as always, let's go Giants.